had changed. Yeah, new power supply, you need new uh, new wiring through almost the entire machine. Now I just got the email about the uh, upgrade to the extruder, the limit feed. Oh, it's perfect, it's great. If you don't have it, do it. Yeah, I've, I've actually had problems with the plastic that I've gotten from you guys specifically where it won't come out quite right. So hopefully that'll fix that. that. That does. Because what you have is, I'm sure you're familiar with the plunger system, which is... I, I have to fiddle with the set screw plunger. Yeah, tried and terrible. Yeah. And so what, this, what we now have is the new set is a spring-loaded bearing. So it actually maintains constant pressure, which is infinitely, infinitely better. Uh, you can, Have you guys had any jamming problems or anything with that? No. Like the highest resolution, it's hundred like No. It's great. I have one on my desk. I've done six or seven 15 hour prints on it. No problem. We have a failure rate out of one out of every like 15 or 20, as opposed to the failure rate you get used to. So, it's spectacular. Now, the one thing I did have to do was, oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I did have to replace the build platform, just because it wasn't flat enough, I had to get a, a piece of glass. Yeah, you got a glass one? Yeah. I noticed on, on the 2X, you changed, it said something there about machining the build platform. Yeah. So is it just like a solid aluminum block now? Yeah. Cat, cat, powder coated cast aluminum. Are you guys going to be selling those? Not for the I, mean, I don't even need the, the heated part of it, but just for the... Yeah, not the two. That this, not the two. Um, we're working on it. All, all I can say is it's like the extruder, the extruder problems. It's, we're constantly trying to improve the improve it and constantly trying to build up and get to the next generation and or next, get to the next iteration of the machine and improve on the design we're doing. So that's how you've been doing it? Five yeah. links at a time and then joining it each yep. time? Cool. This will be the final one. And can I have it? No, I want to keep it. It's okay. Last last year when I was here and I wanted to get the uh, funky shaped Lego brick, uh, they wouldn't give it to me either. <laughs> <laughs> stops to watch. Always. The completion? The completion. How long did that take? The whole chain? Yeah. Each four lengths took about 15 minutes. Four lengths, 15 minutes? Yeah. Wow. We've been going at it for about eight hours now, so. Yeah. So, um, you know, these printers are usually so slow. I mean, how does this perform? Or is it, you know, the, the whole 3D printing, it seems to me, it's kind of excruciating. I mean, right now the technology is at a point where it's the speed is Im has improved greatly over the last year, uh -huh. but we're not yet at a point where you would say it is in the additive manufacturing sure. area. And I don't know if it'll ever get there. This is designed as a rapid prototype, or it's designed for the prosumer market, and it is a right uh, without going incrementally, or oh, you know, huge steps and jumps um, yeah. with expense. Then. $2,199. And this is the only one you guys have out here now to show. Um, if you go over to Autodesk, we have five more of these. No, I mean the only model. Oh, yeah. Because that's the only model you're selling now? Or? No, we have the 2X right there. What's the 2X again? It's a dual extrusion ABS optimized machine. I see. Yeah, as soon as it's done, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you might I'll even let you pull it off the build plate. That's everybody's favorite part. What's the build they made out of? Acrylic. Yeah. Is it still heated? It's a PLA. It's a different material. This is actually big. Earlier models had a heated base, right? Sorry? The earlier models had a heated base. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's for ABS. Yeah. So you have, it's very easy to get it moving once you take it off. But where's the little girl? She was going to pull it off, wasn't she? She's gone? Yeah. Alright, I'll pull it off. Once we go back to nut and bolts, I'm going to have to continue to break them off the... Yeah. Alright, can I do it now? Just right. wait till it's moving? You're not gonna break it, don't worry about it. Pull. Sure? Yeah, yep. you're not gonna break it. Wow, that's a little tough. Well the reason is I, I keep it I keep it hot through the uh -huh. beginning of the process. Uh -huh. So then it has full adhesion to the bill plate. Uh-huh. Oh I see. Uh, okay. 